Hi ladies, right I'm back here to do the tutorial on the vintage tag. Now I did try filming it and it's, um, oh, sorry that way, and I don't know what happened but it went off again and so I'm getting fed up of this. <laughs> so I've already started it so I'm going to talk you through it. What I've done is I've taken a piece of the mottled paper that I bought from Samuel Taylor's in that big box. I've attached it to a board, uh, to a one millimeter chipboard. I put an eyelet in the top. I've edged it in the walnut stain using the new Tim Holtz applicator. <laughs> I love it. It was good. A lot better than doing it, but like I was. Uh, it blended in better. And then I've stamped the images at the background, you know, all the swirls at the background. And then I've added the picture frame that I made last night using a little picture of the girl. Now, I'm not worried that the corners are showing in the background here. Here because I'm going to be putting a, a couple of flowers in that there. So that's a little picture of the little girl with that frame I did using the perfect pearls as the background and then going over it with um, the um, metallic rub on in gold. I've added the tea dyed vintage trim that I did. It was the last piece I had so I've, I'm going to have to do some more, do another batch. You know what I've done? I put the blooming thing on upside. Do you know I can't tell? I've put the lace back to front, silly old. Look. Oh nah, nah. Never mind. Um I've added the brown trim and now I'm ready to finish it off. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna put um now I'm gonna stick the flowers on first because I don't know where the pearls are gonna be. So I'm just gonna get the um flowers. I'm going to choose some of those. It's that purpley colour, so I'm going to do those. Mm, two brights. No, that's a better rose. Choose that one. Um, although I like... No, I'm going to put that one on, I think. I do like that. Yeah, it stands out. And um, see, I went in to get some more of these, you know, when I bought them at Hobbycraft for, th uh, what was it, 49p? And they put them up. <laughs> Probably because they saw me taking them all. They put them up, and they've put them up to uh, 99 pence. So I wasn't very amused at that. <laughs> so the girl was there, was going, what you put them up for? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so I said, well, they weren't like that before. They wouldn't book it for 49p. I don't know. That's all you get off them. I don't know. So, um, just get a couple of mixed flowers out and see what we're going to do. Right, so what I'm going to do now is put the central flower on that one. Let's have a look at that one. Get my um, cutters. Trim the back off. Like that. Glue it. Position it, which I'm going to have just there. And I'm going to put three in today, three large flowers. I usually have one as a, as a central thing and then add smaller ones, but I just want to um, just do three of the same. That's not a very good one. I'll straighten it out later. So, um, just dab a glue on the back like that. It. And then I'm going to add a couple of these. I might not need them actually. Let's cut them off. Definitely going to buy some more of these flowers. I absolutely adore all these flowers. They sit pretty and everything. And they're great for the pegs. So I've got the pegs to finish, haven't I? I'm going to squeeze one in there. Not sure if you can see that, ladies. I'll try and show you. Squeeze one in there just to break that spray up. I'm also going to squeeze one in the bottom. Lift that up. And then I'm not going to put one here, but I'm going to add one here. Just like that. Let me just look at that myself. Yeah, and then I'm going to put three at the top. 
I'm going to put them around the frame actually just to hide them little bits put one there they up what they're doing because granddad's having words with them yeah I'm going to pop one there and the last one there I'm not fussed about this showing at all okay so that's my flowers in position I'm now going to put the pearls on uh, this is why I wanted to wait because they're going now I'm just going to show you how I'm doing them see you like that love these big uh, flat back pearls can't get them this size here well I've not seen them anyway the only ones I've got are what's been uh, sent me so really nice I, like, I love these and they just set a picture off mm, I might have to squeeze one in just under there sorry ladies because I want, I want it to be even so I can move that one up Oh, come off your sod right like that yeah I'm gonna I mean I am gonna add one in there because um, I want it to be even like I say all the way across like that so that's the pearls on the bottom with a little floral display love them love them and then I'm going to just add three pearls running down this side like that position that right let me have a look I'm also going to put in um, a cameo Oops, sorry here and then I'm going to go around that with the stickles I like the cameos I'm just going to add the threads and I've sorted out which ones I'm, I want and I'm using these so I'll cut them fairly long because I want a long one twist them if you twist them it does help them go through a lot easier so I can put them through with that oops pulled it out again pull them through oh aren't these fiddly oh, I've got to find out where the beginning is now that's it got it yep pull them through give it a good pull yeah I will trim them off I'll trim them off now So I've got nice threads in, all different threads. I've got the tag. And it's not it's just not right. For some reason it's not quite right. And I'll tell you what it is. I've got a gap that I don't like. So I'm gonna take the stamp as it is loose. Oh, just got time to finish this. Pop it on there and then just stamp that. See, like that. There was just something missing off it. And I think you'll agree, well, that's a really nice tag. Quite easy. I put the picture in the frame first before stamping it. Because I didn't know where I wanted the stamps. And I wanted to use this particular stamp. So it does look like a paper background, but it's not. Well, I mean, it's a, a mottled paper. And then edged, and then the stamping done. So I hope you like that, ladies. I will be stewing the stickles around there because I do like that. And I will be hanging a charm from it. Right, thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed it and speak to you soon.